Yo, what up, everybody? Cardboard Moses, which you're welcome. It's about that time to do our break for the day. Let me see. We have Archives Baseball Two Box Break Number Two. It's a two box break. Here's one. Well, here's hoping it does, J-Mass. The box is kind of beat up. As long as the cards aren't, that'll be cool. David in the house. The more the merrier for my guy. Right, James. That's that seems logical. I mean, with that money, he could just buy himself, you know, pretty much any Kyler he wants. You know, the only football breaks we have in the store uh, right now, aside from Spectra, which comes out Friday, is 2018 Contenders Optic. I would like to... Uh, Get rid of that tonight, if possible. There's some good games last night on Monday Night Football. And it's Tuesday. I guess it's back to baseball. But then there's Thursday night football to look forward to. All right. Let's see what we have. Good luck, people. I think I got some serious makeup on. Nice. And Aussie Albies Magazine Auto Variation Blue for the Braves. That's pretty good. Sucks that it's a redemption, though. Would have been nice to see. Uh, Piazza of the Mets to 175. Early win, Indians mini. Yeah, I, I did some uh, some fiddling in the waiver wire. You know, after uh, having lost in uh, week one. So hopefully my pick my uh, my my things go through. 
because I need some help. There's an auto for Mike Sweeney of the Royals. Right there. I mean, my draft went well. You know, I don't know if you're trying to make fun of me, but I got a good squad. I just uh, did not start the right players. I just I just didn't wake up in time, JMS, you know, to, to fiddle with the lineup. But it's all right. Lesson learned. Jake Lamb D backs. Ten ninety nine. All right, Billy. That that that's okay. That that's 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 where I crossed the line, Billy. You're on timeout. You you crossed the line. You crossed the line. I'm well aware of my Dolphins. I don't need to be constantly reminded. Time out for you. Go to the corner and think about what you said. Uh, J. Mess, my, my sleep schedule is beyond fucked up. Uh, dude. I usually go to sleep at like 6, 7 in the morning. So I don't wake up until like at least 2. Like to actually wake up. Like I'll go to I'll go to bed like at 6, 7 in the morning. I'll wake up like at maybe 9 or 10 to use the bathroom. Go back to sleep and then wake up at like at two or three in the afternoon. So I'm trying to get it to where I wake up like at eleven or twelve and go to go to bed like at three, four in the morning, so I can actually do something with my day instead of waking up, taking a shower. And then coming straight here to the office. Yeah, no, JMS, I did I you know, I thought about it. I, I thought about it and like I literally I had the phone in my hand the night before. I fell asleep. And I woke up like at eleven something. So I, I woke up in time. And then of course I fell back asleep. And then a friend called me. And it was like 106. By that point, I was like, oh, fuck. But whatever. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Be better prepared. And there you go. That was where it is. Well, no, JMS. Actually, no. I, I saw the entirety of the Dolphins game. Uh, I actually woke up just in time to see them kick, kick off. And... Yeah. Brandon, I'm not going to do none of that. Yes. If I if I take that, I might ne I might never wake up. I'm not trying to sleep forever, man. But, you know, this weekend I will finally have some time off to myself. 
you know, uh, again, I was talking to Jason uh, earlier today, like 20 minutes ago, and uh, I was telling him how I've been working literally every day of September, because I have been working every single day of September. So when I actually have time off, you know, there's, there's a few things I'm going to do. Like, uh, get myself a new CPAP machine. Well, not a new CPAP machine, but like a new mask. You know, get that whole contraption uh, settled. And put that thing to work. And just force myself to get used to it. But mainly, I want to, I want to, you know, fix the sleep schedule, so I could wake up like at eleven or twelve, so I can wake up, you know, take a shower, go to the gym, work out for like an hour and a half or two or whatever, and then from there go to work that, that's what I would like my uh, routine to be but uh, you know, I, I just I gotta set the time aside to do things like meal prepping and whatnot anyway Rondell White Expo's autograph Robinson could know the Mets to 175. Tough to hit in this. I think we should get one more autograph. So I only remember seeing one auto come out of this box so far. There it is. For the Yankees, Fred Stanley. The Blue Wink Auto. And that's going to do it for the break. So to recap, Fred Stanley, Yankees. Rondo White of the Expos, which are the Nationals. A Redemption for Ozzy Albies Braves. And a Mike Sweeney autograph for the Royals. That's going to do it for the break. Thank you, everybody.